So today I'm in Galloway Forest Park in southern Scotland. I've decided to get away from the desk for my Monday content production and check out what's around here. There are so many different things to do in this part of Scotland. A lot of those things get overshadowed by the highlands. Down here in southern Scotland there are plenty of castles, uh, lookout points and this beautiful forest here. And we're going through autumn so the leaves are falling beautifully and the rivers are flowing. You can hear the water roaring um, down the waterfalls which is amazing. I'm going to take a walk today. I think it's about four or five kilometres to go see some of the sites. This will be on one of my posts about other things to do here in Southern Scotland for anybody that is interested in coming and visiting here. I actually went in here to buy a ticket. It turns out they've got an amazing cafe here with cakes, uh, hot food and good coffee. The staff that were there were actually kind enough to tell me that I can park for free a bit further up and save myself about four pounds. Um, and shorten the walk so I can spend a bit more time taking photos, which is awesome. So I'm going to go head up there now, drive up and get a park and then go for this amazing walk. So we'll see you up there. So we've been here for two weeks now in Scotland, down in Whithorn, staying at this enormous seven bedroom mansion with a 400 year old staircase on the inside. And I thought it would be time to finally head up here to Galloway Forest Park, which has been on the list of things to do. I knew it would take me the whole day to come down here. The walk itself is not that long, but knowing me, I will be taking a lot of photos and videos. We are currently getting ready to head on our next trip, which is to the States. We've got another house sit in Kansas City for two months, but we're going to Indianapolis first for two weeks. Um, and I'm not ready to leave here yet because it has only been two weeks or a month by the time we have to leave. And typically when you're moving, you're almost right off that last week because you are trying to do as much work in the lead up to that before you head off on your trip. So compensating for the days that you'll be taking off because of travel and how tired you will be. It's usually about a week, maybe 10 days, depending on how the trip goes. So really that doesn't leave much time between now and when we leave on the 26th. So there will be a lot of opportunities in the next two weeks. However, that's assuming that our schedules don't get in the way. I know that Laura's going to London to visit some friends before we leave the UK completely. And that alone is going to take up a day. So, you know, we'll just see how everything fits in. But I'm confident we'll be able to take up some of the big ones, um, at least before we leave. So let's check these out for now. Hopefully the rain just stays away just enough so I can make it through this entire trip. But I'm stopping so much to take photos and videos at the moment that it's probably going to take me a lot longer to get around this loop than the standard two hours because these views are incredible. It's so quiet out here and Scotland is amazing. There's just something just so calm about how wet it is and how gloomy it is. It just kind of sits on this perfect backdrop. Everything kind of goes like this dark brown and black green kind of tint and the grey skies just fit it perfectly. Not many places in the world that look this good when it's cold and wet. So fortunately the weather's starting to hold up, the sun's coming out, which is great because about a month ago I found out the hard way that this camera is not weather sealed. Not the way that you would think. It was in a bag and the bag had cans of beer in it and one of the beers punctured and went all over the camera. So, so maybe for the next two hours or three hours I was freaking out because beer in a camera cannot be good, but it took some using out in the heat for it to return back to its normal function but I've definitely learnt my lesson this time. So, so thankfully we're under the coverage of the forest here, which protect the camera quite a bit. And hopefully it actually holds up because we've still got a long way to go. I've been stopping so much to take photos. And sadly we're on borrowed time because my battery is at 48% already, which just means that I'm gonna to have to get around here, get all these photos in that amount of time. But hopefully I can come back if I miss anything. So as you can probably see now, it's really opened up out here. 
plenty of logging going on. Some of the trees have fallen down as well, and it's getting quite warm. The sun came out for a bit there, so I had to take the jacket off. But man, it is pretty out here. I don't think that this battery is going to last. So one of the issues I am currently having out here is that there are so many little offshoot paths to come and check out this lock that it's actually making it really, really hard to just stay focused on the path. The path is only six kilometers, but I've stopped so many times to take videos and photos and I'm just not even going to be able to capture everything that there is to do out here. I haven't even taken all the offshoot paths, but the ones that I have taken have just made me stop for a second sit down take more photos take more videos it's amazing and completely distracting laura has just messaged me and i've told her that i'm going to be home in about five hours even though this should only take two because it is probably an hour home in the car as well but i don't think that i'm going to make it home in that amount of time hopefully the weather holds up as you can see some of the rain clouds are starting to come in again but it's quite windy today so I'm hoping that they'll blow past again. We'll get some of that nice sun. But like I've been saying, there's nothing more beautiful than Scotland when it's overcast. And if you are wondering why I'm hiding behind this rock, it's because it's so gusty around here. It's actually affecting the audio. I am going to be sad to leave this place this afternoon because I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to come back in the next two weeks. So I'm finally hitting the end of the lock. It's taken me way too long compared to what it said on the map. I've stopped so many times, but it's been so worth it. I've seen a lot of trail runners out here, so it must be a pretty you know, casual thing to do to come out here and run a trail. I'm sure it's quite intense. I think the problem is if I decided to turn back now that I'm so close to the halfway point that it'd just be a waste. So I'm gonna walk around and see how much better this gets. It looks like there's some waterfalls here. Obviously, there is so much water here because it rains so much. And it's just this constant sound or noise of running water, wind and birds. I just hope that some of this video can kind of convey that kind of peace that comes around from being out here. Okay, this is officially the turning point now. After we cross this bridge, we'll be on the way back home. Must be getting close to this waterfall now. I can hear that water roaring down the hills. Does anybody else get as fascinated by waterfalls as I do? I mean, there's something about thunderous Russian water that just draws your attention. It's kind of hypnotic and it makes me just want to take like heaps of photos and videos or even just sit there and stare at it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but it's definitely well worth the walk. Gee, I thought this first waterfall that I just walked past was cool. Check out this one. Oh 
oh man, my battery's about to die. But man, am I happy to get this view on camera. Check this out.